Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a neat Chrome extension that you can use to add canned comments to Google Documents, but also to Word documents. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the extension is called eComments. You'll see I have it installed already. It's e-comments. And I'm going to turn it on here. And when I do, I have this huge list of canned comments that are available to me. Now these were created by the developer of eComments. These are not things that I've added in. And so I can use any one of them. And you see as I hover over them, we have the complete example of the comment. This one says revise heading, and then it gives an example. Then we have essay structure and content, narrative structure and content. You can also add your own comments if you want to, but there's a lot of pre-made comments that are really good in here. So let's say I want to use one of these comments. I'm just going to highlight my document like I normally would. And let's say I want to add in this comment about margin. I just clicked on that and now I have this comment about margins and I can hide those at any time. I can hide my comment bank at any time and I see there's the comment added into the Google Doc. Now in Word, you can do a very similar thing with e-comments. Now this one here, I'm using the online version of Word and I'm going to go up here again to the e-comments Chrome extension. I'm going to open it in web page mode or copy and paste mode. And when I do that, I'll still have that comment bank. But instead of just instantly inserting when I click on heading, what it did is it copied it to my clipboard. And now when I use the comments in Word, I'm just going to paste that in. So let's hide that real quick. I'm going to go to my comments. I'm going to add a new comment and just paste it in. And there it is. Now I have the comment in Word. Likewise, I can highlight, then add a new comment and paste it in that way as well. So that's eComments. It's a nice little tool for adding pre-made comments into Google Documents as well as Word documents. As always, for tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out practicaledtech.com.